Good evening, sports fans, and welcome back to the Rockwood Sports Network. I'm Chase Clem. This week marks a special week in the life of both Rockwood and Harriman football as the Tigers and Blue Devils will meet for the 95th time in the state's longest running rivalry. To mark this special event, uh, we wanted to bring you some footage of some former players from both Harriman and Rockwood and some of their memories about the game and uh, what playing Rockwood and playing Harriman's means to each of them. We hope you enjoy. All right, we're here with former Harriman Blue Devil, Jim Weaver. Jim? Tell us a little about uh, when did you play high school football for Harriman? Well, I played I played in the forties from forty four to forty seven forty three to forty four to forty seven. Okay, what was your record? Do you remember your record against Rockwood? I believe it's two and one. Okay. Any particular game stand out that you played in in the Harriman Rockwood rivalry? Yeah, uh, forty five game is we had a uh, conference. It was called a uh, Roan County championship and we beat Rockwood I forget what the score was 12 or 7 or something like that for the Roan County championship and we played on Rockwood played on our 10 yard line for most of the game but they couldn't score with one touchdown so we beat them for the Roan County championship hey, that's fantastic who were who were some of the good players that you played with at Harriman on Harriman well uh, there was Frank Hamilton the tailbacks one of the best high school players around here there had been Doug Robinson was the center he was a real good player Obi Brewer was a fullback. He was he was a he was a hard charger, buddy. And then we had some good linemen. All the linemen were so good. I'm not bragging on myself, but I was one of them. Excellent. Hey, you didn't play with Charlie Wyrick, but tell us a little bit about Charlie Wyrick. I hear a lot of stories about Charlie. Charlie, he was something else, buddy. He was he was a blue devil through and through, and and he was he was he was, he was you compare him to Frank Hampton, but they was different style of players. Frank was mostly speed. Charlie had speed, but he could run over you too. And then you got an open field, it's just hard to bring down. Now talk about some of the Rockwood players you might remember that you played against. Well, I don't remember too many of them, but I remember uh, Eddie Roberts. He was a tailback down there. And then Dr. Uh, Red Lane. And then like I told Mark, there's always some treadways around there somewhere. Jim, what's the funniest story you can remember about a Rockwood Herman game? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, Mark, uh, it's like I mentioned to you a while ago. I forget what year it was, Hammer and Rockwood was going to play, and where I worked out at Rowan Horsley was a bunch of Rockwood people there. We always played the game two or three nights a week before the, the game. But anyway, I was all hyped up for Hammer and playing for Hammer and everything. And I told them boys if, if Rockwood won, that I'd jump off their camel's back over on the Kingston Bridge. Well, Mark's dad, Wade, was a PA announcer down there, and him and my brother was brother-in-laws, and my brother told him what I said. Well, about the fourth quarter when the game was, Rockwood already had us beat and everything. Wade got on the microphone, and he said, I want all you people here to, tonight, said after the game, to go over to the Kingston Bridge, and Jim Weaver's going to jump off of that camel's back. <laughs> and that was just a joke on me, but I wish I hadn't said it. <laughs> That's hilarious, Jim. <laughs> Good deal. Jim, you coming to the game Friday? Hope to, yeah. I've got a doctor's appointment, but I'm trying to be there. You got a prediction for us? <laughs> I'm hoping for Hammer to win. That's for I can go. Hey, Jim, we appreciate you spending some time with us. Yeah, I appreciate being here with you. We're here with former Hammer and Blue Devil, Homer Julian. Homer, what year did you play for the Blue Devils? Played in 60, 61, and 62. What do you remember most about the three uh, chances to play the Tigers? Well, our senior year, Coach Floor had left and gone to Chattanooga to become an insurance agent. Two new coaches came in from Carson Newman, Coach Shield Smith and Coach Tom Evans. Tom Evans was the line coach, and I think Rockwood beat us like seven to nothing that year. We drove down on the goal line. They drove. We drove down on the goal line, fumbled. They drove down on the goal line, fumbled. They scored. We didn't. Coach Evans run our butts off of a bank over there. Tom Evans later resigned and became Dr. Tom Evans in Rockwood. And Who were some of the other good players that you played with? Well, Charlie Warrick, of course. Everybody knows Charlie Warrick. Gary Collins. Meredith Gibson was very good. Meredith played in. His junior year, Meredith was ineligible, and he was a cheerleader. Next year, he was one of the Blue Devils' best players and ended up being captain at Carson Newman. He was a very good ball player. 
Yeah, I hear a lot of uh, good things about Charlie Weirich and Gary Collins. Talk specifically about those two and how good they were. Gary Collins was oh, the wing back on the team, the best, only undefeated team Hammond's ever had, and Weirich was the tailback. They ran the single wing. And Weirich ran the ball most of the time. Doug Sands was the fullback. I think we beat Rockwood pretty bad that year, and also Collins' senior year, next year, he became the tailback. And, and we still were in the single wing. And both of them were very fast and pretty powerful. And I think Gary went on to play at Tennessee Tech, and Collins and uh, Warwick went to UT. Homer, any other? I know you saw a lot of Rockwood Harriman games since you got out of high school. Any of them stand out to you? Well, when Leroy and Tony Chapman played down at Rockwood, it was just showtime, man. They were good and fast and just good ball players. And of course, I'm sure they wore Harriman out during those years. Hey, you gonna be at the game Friday night? I'll be there on the Blue Devil side. Any predictions? <laughs> Hopefully, Hammond will come through. 21-12. 21-12. Homer, we appreciate you spending some time with us. Hey, my pleasure. I hope my prediction comes through. We'll see you Friday night. See you Friday night. Okay, we're here with former Rockwood Tiger football player David Poole. David, what years did you play at Rockwood? Played against uh, Harriman really in '51. 52 and 53. What was your record against the Big Blue? Well, we won in 51 and we got beaten 52 and 53. Any of those three games stand out to uh, you? Well, yeah, they were all good games, playing against really good friends. Harriman had, well, Larry Cole, Dave Pryor, uh, Gene Farmer, Turby Field, Doug Sands, and uh, they had a good team, as did we had a good team as well. Who were, who were some of the good players that, that you play with at Rockwood? Okay, the year at 52, we had what was called the Iron Men, where we only used 11 ball players against Spring City. Spring City had won 27 consecutive games, as I recall, and we beat Spring City 7 to nothing. Our quarterback was Deb Roberts. He threw to Putt Smith, a flanker back, and then Putt threw a touchdown pass to Pee Wee Anderson in the end zone, and we beat him. Seven to nothing. Spring City had a good ball club. We had a good ball club too. But, uh, David, I know you won't be I... at the at the game Friday night. You'll be watching your grandson play at Kingston. I'll you, be at you Kingston. got a prediction for Friday night? Rockwood versus Harriman? Rockwood all the way. No question about that. All Big right, thank Rockwood you. victory. All right, thank you, David. Right. Pretty much. I'm here with former Rockwood quarterback Brad Berry to talk about the the longest running rivalry in the state of Tennessee, Rockwood versus Harriman, coming up next Friday night at Civitan Field. Uh, Brad, tell us a little about uh, your thoughts on the Rockwood Harriman rivalry. Well, Chase, it was always one that was exciting, just being uh, just right across the city limits from Rockwood and Harriman, and the oldest, as you said, the oldest rivalry in the state. It was always just one that, usually toward the end of the season, always had a lot of implication on who was going to win the district championship. And uh, when you were playing at Rock, what do you remember your record against Harriman? I think I was three and one against them in the four years. Um, lost my senior year, and that's when they were loaded with Jermaine and some of those guys that went on to. Uh, I think they finished state runner-up in the in the state that year. So it was uh, always some real talented teams. And do you have any uh, favorite memory against uh, playing Harriman? Well, there's one I'd probably like to forget, but uh, but it was always a lot of fun, and just I know on our side it was always just intense uh, rivalry with those guys and like I said it usually came down I know for a couple of years the winner usually won the, the district championship but it was always a lot of fun and you usually saw those guys on the basketball court or the baseball field or around town and then you had to gear up and play them on Friday night. Thank you Brad. Thanks Chase. Okay we're here with Chris Mason former Harriman High School Blue Devil. Chris what years did you play for the Blue Devils? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not a former Harriman High School Blue Devil. I'm always a Blue Devil. You're never a former Blue Devil. Uh, I, I played on, on the 88 team, 89, 90, and 91 uh, with the football years. I graduated in 92. You remember what your record was against Rockwood? I believe we were 2-2. Two and two. Uh, I think we lost my first, or we won the first two years and then lost the last two years. I uh, lost my junior and senior year, but they were all Except for one year, they were all pretty close games. Any of the games stand out to you? You know, I, I remember. Um, I remember a lot. Of course, I remember a lot about my senior year. We played it at Harriman, and uh, Brad Berry was the quarterback. Proud to say, I intercepted his pass. I do remember that. Uh, it was a close game. Um, at halftime, you know, when the game started, 
Um, I went out to the middle of the field and the Rockwood captain came out and, uh, the, and coin toss and uh, the ref said, ask Rockwood, said, said uh, you won the coin toss, what do you want to do? Of course, Rockwood said, they said, we want to defer. And I said, we want the ball. So Harriman got the ball and uh, we won the ball right off the bat. So we had the ball, we went in halftime, it was a close game. I think it was seven to nothing, Rockwood was up at the half. And we came out after the half, and the two and, and I went back out in the middle of the field. Uh, the Rockwood captain came out in the middle of the field, and the referee said, uh, "He said, okay, son, you've uh, you deferred the first half. What do you want to do? Uh, what do y'all want to do now?" And and he just messed up, and 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 I don't, he just wasn't thinking. And he said, "We defer." And so as soon as he said that, the first thing I said, I said, we want the ball. So that may be the first, you know, 95 years, I bet it's the only time that we got the ball in the, in the beginning of the game, we got the ball beginning of the second half, which is a big deal because I think it was just, Rockwood won that game. Uh, it was 14 to nothing, I believe, but it was a tight game, tight game. Uh, but one of the things I really remember is, is how, is the, is the rival was, was, uh, I mean, you hated the people from Rockwood, hated them from Kingston. And it was, it, you know, it went both ways. Uh, on the weekends, you know, we would cruise, and, and if everybody got up enough nerve, we would cruise down and cruise Rockwood and, and uh, antagonize those guys. But but when it was the rockwood Harriman game, uh, everything got real serious. My senior year, we warmed up before the game. We didn't want Rockwood to watch us uh, uh, warming up. I mean, this is my junior year. We didn't want Rockwood to see us warming up, so we warmed up at Harriman. And then we loaded on the bus like 15 minutes before kickoff and pulled up right at kickoff got off the bus flipped the coin and started playing now we did that for two reasons one was that we didn't want the guys from rockwood to watch us warming up and then the second reason was uh i can't remember what what street it was but there was a street that we turned down uh every time we went to rockwood and we and the bus would get uh, rocks or something thrown at it so so when we would hit Rockwood City limits, we helmets went on and, and everybody buckled their chin straps and, and usually put your head down because you didn't know what, what might get thrown at the bus. And I'm sure it was the same way when they came to when they came to Harriman, I'm sure it was the same way. Talk about some of the good players that you played with and played against for Rockwood. I played uh you know, some of the guys I played against, Robbie Newby, uh Steven Johnson, uh uh Chris Sims, Jason Eskridge, uh Woody Buchanan, uh, um Bradbury, those are just some of the guys, and you know, one, you know, another thing, you know, like I said, we hated those guys, but it was always, it was, it's, I love telling the story that, that um, we could fight each other on the field, and then I remember my senior year, uh, how bad I disliked all the Rockwood players, and then eight months later, we we were at Roan State, and and I ended up being roommates with two or three of them, and I ended up going to to uh, uh, Cookville and uh, roommates, and and friends with most all of them today. Uh, you know, when I see them out, it's 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 kind of a, a you know, it's kind of a thing that 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 we all have together. That that if you didn't play football, you just don't have, or or not a, not a fraternity, but that type of thing. You know, it's kind of something we have in common uh, with each other. When you see you know guys from Rockwood or or guys from Kingston that that uh, that played football. You gonna be at the game Friday night? Oh yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere. There's nowhere else. I don't know where else in Rome County you would be that night. Uh, other than the Harriman, the Harriman Rockwood game, the ninety fifth time. You got a prediction for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, just like all other ninety four times, uh, Harriman's going to win this game. You got a score? No, I don't. I actually think it's going to be. It. it, it uh, I think both teams. Harriman's well improved. Uh, I think the last ten or twelve years, Rockwood, with the exception of one year, Rockwood, Rockwood has has a uh, has won each each year. Uh, Harriman's improved this year, and I know Rockwood's really good this year. So. Harriman will have to play their best game, to, uh, But it'll be, if, if Harriman wins, I think it'll be close. Thank you, Chris. All right, thank you. We're here with former Tiger standout Michael Brillo Miller. Mike, when did you play for Rockwood? 74, 75, and 76, Mark. Do you remember the Harriman games? Oh, yeah, very, very well. What was your record against Harriman? 3-0. and Does any of the games stand out in particular? Well, it's uh, the first one and the last one. The first one, we beat them 14 to nothing up at uh, Harriman. Real ball game. They had a good football team. We did, too. We probably had 500 yards total offense, but we laid it on the ground about six times. And it was really, really crowded up there that night. Good crowd. And in my senior year, we beat them at Rockwood 7-6. to six. Uh, Gary Former returned the punt for a touchdown. And uh, 
Alan Mingus blocked extra point for us to win 76. It was a big game in 76, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. We were undefeated and ranked number one in the state. That kept us there, and then we went on and won the state championship. So, yeah, it was a huge game. Who were some of the best players you played with at Rockwood? Well, there were a lot of good. And Alan Mingus was a heck of a player. Rick Collett, Pat Cooley, uh, you just name them. We had, we had a ton of them. Gary Former was a great player. Uh, Darrell Brazel was an outstanding football player. We had a lot of good football players in those three years that we were there. What about some of the guys you played against against Harriman? Well, Drac Langley played for, for Harriman. He was in the same grade as I was. He was a good ball player. Kevin Gre Kevin Grigsby played uh, quarterback. He was good. Val Barksdale, who later went on and played at University of Tennessee, was an outstanding football player. Uh, they had a lot of good football players during that time. Brillo was pretty intense back in those days. Can you talk about the intensity of the rivalry between Rockwood and Harriman? Yeah, I mean, it was it was intense even off the field. Uh, we had a lot of, you know, a lot of good times with them. We, uh, you know, we always made a little trip to Harriman the night before we played them, which probably wasn't the best thing to do, but we did. And uh, it was a big rivalry. You know, those three years we didn't play Kingston, so it made the Harriman game a, a, a big, big thing. Well, Brillo, we're doing it again for the 95th time Friday night at Civitan Field. You going to be there? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't miss it for nothing. Well, we can't leave you without a prediction. Uh, I, I don't want to give a score, but I think Rockwood's going to win the football game. But I think it's going to be a good football game. I think Harriman's really improved what I've heard, and uh, I think we got a good football team. But uh, I think Rockwood will win the ball game. Thank you, Brillo. Thank you. Anytime. Chase Clem here for the Rockwood Football Network here with uh, former Tennessee wide receiver, Harriman High School legend, Jermaine Copeland, and two of his biggest fans. Uh, Jermaine, talk about your time at Harriman and the uh, Rockwood-Harriman rivalry and what it means to you. Uh, well, it was a big rivalry. I mean, you know, we're right next door to each other, so it, it's something that all the fans used to turn out for. It, it used to seem like back whenever I played that the stores would get shut down when everybody came out because uh, it was that big of a rivalry. It was one that you got to get used to and one you got to be prepared for to going into the jungle. And uh, what years did you play at Harriman and uh, what was your record against Rockwood? I was, I was two and two against Rockwood. I played in uh, 93, 94, and 95. And uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good battle. You know, we used to have good times, actually. It was one of the biggest games that we used to look forward to. And out of those four games, were there any games that stuck out? Uh, in well, probably uh, people in Rockwood probably don't want to hear about it, but there was the one that stuck out to me most was probably in 94. Uh, I remember playing Whoop and uh, Garland, Henley, who all were uh, the big tailbacks uh, in Rockwood. And, you know, the time was running down, and it was maybe eight seconds left on the clock. Last second punt, they thought they would punt it out of bounds, and uh, it stayed in and they kicked it to the wrong person and it just happened to go back for a touchdown for a victory at the last second. <laughs> and uh, you mentioned uh, Wood and were there some other players from Rockwood and Harriman, good players that you played with in those years? Yeah, Garland, Henley, uh, Big Chris. Uh, Big Chris, what was Chris' last name? Smith? Sims. No, Sims. Big Chris Sims was one of the most most, one of the most dangerous people I've seen come out of Rockwood, tell you the truth, uh, as far as a tailback with size and power. So Chris was probably a dominant factor. And, you know, the guys I played with, of course, with Mark Boyd and, you know, Greg Love and Shane Hall and all those guys. So the people I came up with watching my brother now play, you know, the Grigsby's and all those. So it, it's, it's been uh, something that I've watched for a long time. Well, Jermaine, we thank you for your time, and uh, we hope to see you Friday night. Would you like to make a game prediction? Ooh, well, my game prediction, you know, i got to be biased, so I'm going to have to say uh, Harriman's going to come up this year. You know, they started off uh, pretty good this year, so we're going to say that uh, Harriman wins 21-14. Uh, you got it here, folks, 21-14 from the former Vol and Harriman High School legend, Jermaine Copeland. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it, bud. <laughs> yeah. We're here with former Rockwood Tiger, Troy Kelly. Troy, what years did you play for Rockwood? 82, 3, and 4. Now, do you remember the Harriman games you played in? What was your record? Uh, two and one. Any of those games stick out in your mind as being memorable? Uh, yeah, probably my senior year when we got beat by Harriman. Oh, man, what was the score? Uh, 14 to seven. Any big plays in that game? Uh, yeah, I remember the play where we were driving to go ahead and uh, Wayne Pryor fumbled the ball and they picked it up and run it in. Wow, who are some of the good players that you played with for Rockwood and some of those you played against for Harriman? 
Uh, for Rockwood, Wayne Pryor, Mike Nance, uh, Greg Williams, uh, Scotty Ross, the Goldberg Boys, and uh, for Harriman, Scotty Morgan, uh, Scott Mason uh, from Harriman. That's the ones I remember from Harriman. Troy, I know when I played, it was intense on the field and especially off the field. How, how was it when you played? Very intense. On the field and off the and field? And off both? the field the week prior and everything. Troy, who was your coach during those three years? Uh, coach Larry Davis, uh, C.W. Pemberton, and uh, Clarence Holloway. People just don't realize what it was like playing for C.W., do they? No, they don't. It was uh, very intense to play for him. Troy, I know your boy plays. He's a senior this year, so I know you'll be there Friday night. Any predictions for this 95th uh, rivalry game? Yes, Rockwood. Troy, we appreciate you. Thank you. There you have it, folks. As some would call it, clean old-fashioned hate. Join us at 7.30 at Civitan Field Friday night to see who will win the 95th meeting of the Rockwood Tigers and the Harriman Blue Devils. See you there. Reporting for the Rockwood Football Sports Network, I'm Chase Clem.